the Greylock tapes are filled with monsters and mysteries. Some of them are human. Others maybe not so much. But there is one entity who keeps reappearing at every major story moment. I'm sure you've seen them before. This entity seems to be the main antagonist of the Greylock tapes as they are always there during the most tragic moments of the story. But what exactly do we know about them? That's the question we're going to be exploring today. This is, everything we know about the masked entity in the Greylock tapes. The first appearance is speculation, but one many people may have missed. Tape 2 opens with someone recording their drive towards what we can assume to be Mount Greylock. They arrive at their destination and get out of the car, seemingly retracing someone else's steps. As they are recording, the camera keeps glitching out to a different point of view of whatever our camera person is looking at. But based on the way the camera keeps distorting, we can assume that it's the masked entity causing this jump between point of views, as this is the same distortion that happens when the miners set up hunting cameras in tape 6. The next time we see the entity is in a blink and you'll miss it moment. During the attack on the town, we get jump scared by a glove reaching for the window we're standing in and bloody faces start to flicker on the screen. Mixed in these faces is the masked entity, hinting towards the entity to be involved in the attacks. Tape 5 is one of the shorter episodes, but that doesn't stop the entity from showing up. In another blink and you'll miss it moment, we can catch the entity staring at us during the distortions before we learn Tiffany's baby disappeared. This makes it obvious that the entity is responsible for all the unborn babies disappearing around town. Next up is tape 6, where our entity has the most screen time out of all tapes. During this tape, the miners set up hunting cameras after suspecting something is stalking them from the trees. We can see that, whatever is stalking them, is going through all stages of a thought form becoming physical, as described in episode 3. The first detection is just an electrical disturbance, as we don't actually see anything on camera. The second detection is more noticeable, as there is definitely a mist passing in front of the camera, but still without any proper definitions to make out exactly what is passing in front of us. The third detection starts out with nothing on screen at first, but after some fog appears, we can clearly see a silhouette of a human entity take form and walk out of frame. This brings us to the final and most damning piece of evidence, the fourth detection. As soon as the replay starts, we can very clearly see the face we're familiar with by now, just staring at us right through the camera. If there was any doubt on whether this has been the same entity as in previous encounters, should this tape clear those doubts right up? This brings us to tape 8. During this tape we learn a few new things about the entity when it emerges from Arnold's basement and goes on the hunt for him. At first we can hear the entity mimicking voices of different people, but by the things being said we can assume that these are the victim's final words before getting caught by the entity. Once the entity eventually does find Arnold, it bursts through his closet doors, really bringing out its sheer size when just its head is almost the size of the doors before snapping Arnold like he's nothing. Tape 9 is another speculation, because it doesn't only change up what we know about the entity, it also throws in the idea of there being multiple of these entities. This short clip of what seems like multiple variations of our masked entity appears on screen, shortly after Rothwell finishes his speech. Tape 10 will be our final encounter for now, as this is the last time the entity is shown as of producing this video. This encounter is another speculated one, as we only have our imagination guiding us when Tiffany is describing the monster to the doctor. The strongest connection we have to this being the same entity, is when Tiffany describes it as very tall, just like the miners did when they felt like they were being stalked. Normally this wouldn't be concerning, but from her lines we can assume that she was being used as one of Simeodyne's test subjects, possibly planting the entity in her mind. With that tape, we finish all our encounters with the entity, but let's think about it for a little bit because all this information might be a little overwhelming at first. 
The first time I saw the short clip from episode 9 with all the masked entities, I thought it showcased the militia group mentioned in tape 7. The group which were being accused for being responsible for all the attacks on the towns near Mount Greylock. That the people being shown are just worshippers of whatever got unearthed when the miners broke into the ancient ruins, possibly freeing a mighty thought form worshipped by all cultures, which we maybe haven't seen yet. This theory got scrambled when we learned that the babies that were suddenly disappearing from wombs, is also happening around the time the towns were being attacked. With it being impossible for a human to just make a child disappear in the way showcased in Tape 5, in combination with all the attacks on the towns as showcased with Don Wright and Arnold Rivers, I think it's fair to assume the entities being shown are all thought forms. It's obvious we still have a lot to learn when it comes to the Greylock tapes. But what do you all think? I'd love to hear all your theories in the comments, or maybe even a reason why my final theory doesn't work. I'm really invested in this series and I'd love to hear any video requests or personal theories in the comments below. But most of all, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.